Hey everybody, my name is Joe Jaguar. We're going to be talking about this scope on this episode here. Um, what this is, is a 6 inch Skywatcher Evo uh, Apple Chromatic, or short for Apple. Um, in the last 3 to 4 years, there was a huge hype on this, well not this particular scope, but people asking for a 6 inch uh, double it ED from any company. So uh, let me talk about that for a bit. Uh, going back about three or four years, the forums were kind of flooded with uh, people asking, they want roughly this size, uh, not so expensive. So let's just take Skywatcher for as an, for an example. Uh, they made Apple Chromatics, short for Apple, and the 80 millimeter, 100 millimeter, and the 120 millimeter size, and it has the FPL 53 glass, which is basically considered the best glass uh, to make a telescope out of. Um, so, um, and other companies, the same thing. Around that, that size was probably the limit. And then on the other spectrum, you had the expensive telescopes, which, uh, you know, the Takahashi. So just to give you an idea, this size, a six inch in a Takahashi, would probably be 17,000 Canadian with tax just shy of 19,000. So it was either the you had uh, Apple Chromatics in the lower, smaller size, or the very expensive uh, ones, um, you know, that were bigger, and nothing really in between. So a lot of people were asking for any company to make something like a six-inch ED or Apple that was uh, entry level or at least um, not so expensive. So Skywatcher uh, answered that call uh, within this last year. Uh, they came out with this one. So this is a 6 inch F8 uh, Apple Chromatic Refractor. So F8 means how long it is. Now, me personally, I think the F8 is, as you can see, kind of long. This is not a small scope by any means. Weighs about 21, 22 pounds. Uh, you can get this in two versions. The basic version, which is this, um, just comes with regular rings and uh, a dual uh, 10 to 1 speed Crayford focuser, which is fine for visual. Um, and the, the more expensive version just comes with more heavy duty rings, as well as a, a slightly bigger uh, and more robust focuser. Um, so let's get back to this. So uh, Skywatcher answered enter this call, and it came out with this version. Now, just so people know, the smaller scopes that they make come with the 53 best quality glass in a doublet that you can make. This one is not a triplet, it is also a doublet, but what's funny is they actually won't tell anybody, including any of your dealers, stores, anybody like that, what type of glass is coming in this one. So it's kind of funny how before, um, you know, in all the specs, everything you read, you could actually, they would tell you the 80 millimeter, the 100, and the 120, it told you it was 53 glass, which everybody knew, and that you know, it was called Black Diamond. It's probably been out for at least 10 years. Uh, before that, they had a gold version. But um, regardless, uh, really good views. Very good color correction. Very crisp images of the planets. Uh, a really good all-around refractor. Um, so with this model, though, so they just changed the name. It's called the Evil Star. Evil for short, fine. Um, but they don't tell you what kind of glass. Now, what's kind of weird to me is it's kind of like buying a computer uh, and then not telling you what kind of a motherboard or chip is in it. Um, or maybe buying a car, they're telling you it's very good, but they won't tell you is it a V4, V6, uh, or maybe four cylinder V6 or V8. Uh, just saying it's, it's good. Uh, good compared to what? Uh, you know, so. With people in this hobby, if you've been in it long enough, the price point. This sucker, Canadian, costs $31.99 uh, before tax. With tax, it's about $3,500. Now, the 120 version uh, with the 53 glass costs $2,500. So as that far, uh, the difference between the 120 to this size, it's only $500 difference. So that is, I would say, a huge plus. It's not much difference, but it cannot be... 53 glass. It has to be the lower quality 51 glass. Some people could say it's a semi-apple. Um, 
So I have not tested, tested it under the skies to see exactly how good the color is, but I do have a chart which measures it, measures the Abbey rating uh, about 87%. So I don't think it's a true apochromatic. It's not a triplet. It's not 53 glass. Personally, I would have paid a little more if it had a 53 glass, double it. And as you can see, it's pretty long. If it came in an F7, I think would be a little bit more portable. It's an F8. I have owned these in Acromat's version as well. It's fine, but it's just, you know, it is a big scope. And if you live in an apartment or condo, it's, uh, and if you have to bring it downstairs, it's a pretty big boy. Um, so hopefully, maybe in the future, maybe Skywatcher, uh, as they keep on making these, maybe people will ask for this scope in the 53 glass because it, there's no way in this price range this is a 53. There's just no way. It can't be. Even though they don't tell you, you just know it can't. Um, so maybe I'll do another video where I actually test it under uh, the, the stars. Maybe I'll try Vega, Jupiter and Saturn, the moon, and see exactly how much color fringing is on this guy. Is it a good bang for your buck? Um, and uh, we'll see. So, But my, my preference would have been 6 inch F7, uh, that type of thing with uh, 53 glass. But what I do like it, the construction's nice. Um, the, the dew cap is not sliding, uh, which would have made it more portable, but that's still okay. Uh, the focuser, I'm actually, it, it's pretty decent. I mean, as far as the GSO, the Synta focusers of the last dozen years or so, this to me feels like it's a little bit better than their previous models, uh, Skywatcher line, uh, the dual speed. It feels like it doesn't have as much slop. It is not a feather touch or a moonlight by any means, but it just feels like they have improved a little bit over the previous models. Maybe even the di black diamond, like I said, the gold pro version and the earlier ones. So that's that's a plus. Uh, price point, I think it's a really good bargain. Uh, 3500 taxed in Canadian for this size of a scope. Now it is kind of big. You wouldn't do astrophotography with this size unless you had a really big mount, uh, rock solid mount. Uh, but visually, probably okay. Um, I can let you guys know in another video if you would like to comment below, if you would like to test it under the skies, and I'll let you know exactly uh, how it uh, fares. Now, as far as accessories, does not come, I mean, doesn't come on this mount. This is a Need LX D85 mount, which is a little bit bigger than their, uh, like an EQ5. Uh, you can say it's kind of like a heavy duty EQ5, but we can't call it an HEQ5 because Skywatcher already has that name. Um, as far as accessories, it does come with a, uh, a case, a steel case. Uh, it is huge, uh, probably at least twice the size of what the previous ones were. However, no other accessories, like no finder scope, no finder bracket, no diagonal, no eyepieces, uh, nothing like that. So it's just the bare bones, uh, the two rings, the bar, that's it. That's all you get. Um, so we'll see maybe in the future if they come up with a 53 glass. Um, I'd like to see exactly how good this is. Uh, my previous 6 inch I just sold a couple months ago. I had the Mi 152 F9 uh, model. So for you, for you guys that know what that is, it's a white tube made you know, from the late 90s to the early 2000s. That it was even bigger than that and heavier. Um, so I actually sold that and just got this because it's a little bit more portable when you live in a condo or apartment type of setting. So just wanted to give you guys a look at what the uh, 6 inch Evo Star uh, looks like. I'm not sure if I can, uh, you can see the glass or not, but let me see if I can point it more towards you guys. Um, looks pretty good. You know, it has a nice greenish tint. Um, it's just, we'll see how it performs under the night sky where it really counts. Um, that's it. So, thank you for watching the video. Comment below. A like. Uh, if you would like to see me go into more depth, just ask and uh, we'll do that. Okay. Cheers.